Hello people, today we're going to talk about the scent Afnan Turati Blue. Afnan is a very good house, it's good value for money. I have tried uh, a few of them, a couple of them earlier. The first one being Afnan 9 pm, which is um, very similar to JPG Ultra Male and uh, the other one that I tried is um, Supremacy Not Only Intense by Afnan which is uh, I would say a hybrid of Aventus and also Hachiwat. Now Afnan Turati Blue <clears throat> it got my attention because it is a replica of one of or oh, probably my most complimented uh, scent in my entire collection and that particular scent is uh, uh, Bulgari Tiger. Now uh, let's see how the scent stacks up with Bulgari uh, Tiger. Coming to the bottle of this particular scent, it is a nice looking uh, a bottle. It's got that blue a tinge to it, uh, feels good in your hand. It's got a nice cap, but the cap is, it's heavy, but it doesn't, you know, fit. I don't know, it doesn't fit properly into it. Or maybe I don't know the <laughs> technique to uh, fit it. I tried many times, but it always doesn't uh, sit. I think there is some technique wherein you need to rotate it and make it sit, but uh, yeah, but see, let's, I don't know, life is too short for me, <laughs> for me to figure this out. But anyway, otherwise, if you're able to figure this out, good for you. The bottle is nice, very nice uh, bottle. Uh, it doesn't stand well also, a little bit unstable, but otherwise the design is okay. Good color, solid, solid feeling uh, bottle, I would say. Now, before we get into uh, the review of this, I'll just spend a little bit of time on uh, Bulgari uh, uh, Tiger over here. So Bulgari Tiger, like I said earlier, is one of uh, the most complimented uh, scent in my arsenal. Whenever I have worn this, I have gotten at least one positive comment. Uh, strangers have asked me about this. What are you wearing? It smells so good. It's I can get it even there, you know. And uh, I even got uh, get compliments from the people at home and also when I wear it to office I get I used to get good compliments pre-covid time and this is my uh, third official uh, sample after this is over maybe I might go for a, a, a full bottle or go for the same one because this one is expensive another scent uh, which I love which is in the same ballpark is from Roger Perfums this is <coughs> 18 Burlington 19 they call it 1819 so this one also is uh, got the same kind of a scent profile wherein it is grapefruit heavy in the in the start and then it you know goes into spices and this one is more complex because you have rum there's a little bit of tobacco there's oak moss but this one is favorite uh, one of my favorites when it comes to gra grapefruits but uh, it's in the same ballpark in the sense it's got that uh, same grapefruit opening that you know Turati is trying to uh, replicate. Now coming to the notes of Afna and Turati Blue on their official website <coughs> the top notes are listed as bergamot and mandarin and in the middle notes we have amber and woody notes and in base notes we have musk, patchouli and fresh spices. A little bit surprising when uh, I read these notes because right in the top I get a nice blast of grapefruit rather than bergamot and mandarin. I was expecting grapefruit to be uh, listed but it's not. Okay, now let's spray this and see uh, how it looks. I already have uh, sprayed this in the morning and my sh on my shirt to test it out. So this decent sprayer gives out a nice uh, burst. 
and it is very uh, similar to both the ascents roja and tiger right in the opening okay a little bit but as the ascent progresses uh, there are a lot of differences between uh, these two we'll get into that but right at the top when you spray it you get that very uh, similar vibe that you get from uh, tiger or even from roja 1819 now the difference here uh, when you consider uh, bulgari uh, tiger and afnan uh, bulgari tiger has a very beautiful ambroxan note attached with the grapefruit which makes the grapefruit smell very fresh uplifting fresh and the ambroxan pushes the scent like no one's business uh, whenever i wear this people five feet away can you know get the uh, smell of this that way i think here the ambroxan is prominent they've done a great job balancing it with that grapefruit which gives that very uh, fresh vibe out so that's bulgari tiger initially when i smelled this uh, turati uh, blue i thought it smelled more closer to roja 1819 then i had a bottle i thought let me try it out side by side and have the uh, spray of uh, 1819 on this hand when i spray uh, uh, this one over here what 1819 does is amongst the three this is the most realistic grapefruit note the most natural smelling grapefruit note that you can get which is amazing uh, bulgari tiger and afnan there is something a tiny bit little bit synthetic about it the grapefruit note but the roja perfume one the grapefruit is amazing it's so uh, natural and what made me uh, think that the opening of this is more closer to uh, uh, roja is because the grapefruit over here is not uh, uh, i would say very fresh or bursting out like uh, tiger there's something a little bit spicy about it uh, so that's why i thought okay maybe it smells uh, close to 1819 by roja but actually there is a difference uh, the grapefruit over here to my nose though it's uh, very nice it does a great job of replicating there's something sour about it there is that element of the spices which are there that could be contributing to that particular sourness a combination of grapefruit and maybe cumin that spice will give us sour uh, smell you some people might say it smells a little bit like body sweat i wouldn't go to that extreme it doesn't smell like that but that element of sourness it's not a very uh, fresh grapefruit right from the fruit it's maybe uh, the grapefruit which is li- lying in your kitchen for maybe 3 or 4 days having said that it's not bad it's still uh, very very uh, good uh, and this kind of uh, profile it it continues throughout the journey and later on i would say <coughs> maybe there's a hint of musk i'm not getting very uh, prominent uh, musk over there uh, maybe a little bit of musk but generally the grapefruit plus that sourness of that spice whatever spice that is maybe cumin that stays and continues for the entire scent journey now coming to the performance of this this performs quite well for the price that it sold at this one is sold i picked this up for around 3000 indian rupees which is close to around 35 or uh, 40 us dollars and the performance is quite good i get a good projection for around 2 uh, to 3 hours it forms a nice bubble around me you can smell yourself even others can uh, smell you and uh, longevity wise on skin it's around 4 hours on clothes even last longer it lasts you an entire uh, work day so i would say decent uh, performance above average performance and it's good value for money for the price you're paying Uh, compare that comparing that with you know uh, bulgari tiger this one projects uh, like a beast and also its cr just like a beast this one projects 6 7 feet also sometimes or maybe it's because of the cr and people can sense you even once you after the out of the room so this one leaves a very good scent trail but only drawback here is 
this one is at least eight times more expensive than you know Turetti Blue. Uh, value for money, I'd say they equal, but equal in the sense this one is good because it's uh, it's only uh, maybe one eighth the cost of this, and it's still performing well. If you have the money, I would suggest go for this because this is the ultimate, you know, a, a grapefruit projection beast. You should definitely get this if you can afford it. But if not, then this is a very good alternative. <coughs> and <coughs> comparing to the performance of, you know, even Roja, Roja is also a very good uh, performer. You get, you get the most natural grapefruit and it again pushes for two to three hours very well. And this uh, fragrance is a little bit complex, it got many nodes, it also has got that spice in it, a lot of spices, cumin, etc. and also oak moss. So this could be challenging for some people, alright. But not with Afna and Turati Blue, I don't think it will be uh, too challenging. Uh, the only off-putting part would be that soreness which comes from that spice. Otherwise, I think this is a very easy to wear scent. Now coming to... Uh, <coughs> Occasions that you can wear, you can wear it, uh, it's quite versatile. I would wear it more <clears throat> the spring and summer and if I'm outdoor because this one projects much better in the heat. Same with even uh, Bulgari Tiger, when there's heat, when there's sun hitting on you, this one projects even a little bit more. And the same goes with uh, Afna and Turati Blue as well. So very versatile scent, it can be worn <coughs> both formally and also uh, uh, casually. Formally, I, right now I'm avoiding this because of that sore note. Uh, <clears throat> I'm a little bit conscious that it could offend others. That's why I don't wear it much in office. But casually, I don't mind if it's an open space. I definitely do wear this. And uh, uh, is it a blind buy? I would say I'm <laughs> in the middle right here because if it had it been a little bit more uh, fresher right then i would have said yes it's a blind blind but if uh, you find that particular spicy note interfering too much with the grapefruit then you may not like this and you may not even reach out to this uh, that's why i would recommend maybe try this out uh, first and then uh, you can uh, uh, you buy it now pros and cons, pros, good value for money, uh, decent uh, projection, it's very uh, versatile and it does uh, an okay to uh, above average job of you know copying or smelling similar to uh, Taiga. These are the uh, uh, pros and cons, I would say that uh, bitter or that sore note which is there, that can be off-putting uh, to some. Uh, uh, that's about it. I think uh, there are not much other cons. It's a safer scent. Compliments. This will get you compliments, but not to the extent of uh, Bulgari or Tiger. This is a compliment king. This is maybe a, a probably, I would say, in a much lower league, but still, it will get you those few compliments for people who are, you know, open and they are willing to uh, give you those uh, particular uh, comments. So let me know what you think about Turati uh, Blue. Have you tried it? How sim similar do you find it to uh, Tiger or 1819? I don't find it similar to uh, Blue the Chanel at all for some reason. If you do find it similar like some other reviews, please let me know. Like and subscribe please to the channel and I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you. Bye.